Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that gets kids excited about math and science. We've got our Techno SAT 410.3 that we've turned into a monster truck. Uh, you can check the entire playlist in our uh, in the video comments. We basically put 2.8 inch trenchers on this. Uh, this is we actually bought this used uh, from one of our, our friends over um, that races at NorCal Hobbies. Um, he used to race this on the clay track over there. We've uh, repurposed this for uh, for running off road <laughs> or more bashing activities. So a couple of the changes we've done: we've done these uh, these quarter inch clevis pins for body mounts to raise up. Uh, the the stock short course body high enough so that it clears the the 2.8 inch tires um, we've also borrowed the shocks from our NT48 uh, which is the a scale truggy we we've still got it over here um, basically the the front shocks from this truggy we've taken and we are using them um, on our SCT for the time being. A couple reasons for that. Uh, the, the springs the, um, that came with the car were just way too soft um, for you know, the type of running that we're going to be doing. So uh, these are the, the green uh, rated springs that are on there right now. A um, couple other differences here. We've got the aluminum shock caps on these versus the plastic composite emulsion caps here. Uh, an improvement on the the dot three vehicles was this locking um, shock retainer, uh, where whereas the ones on the NT forty eight are um, you know are just like regular shock retainers. You can pop them out. Um, there's no set screw like on the dot threes retaining them. Um, so at some point we're gonna go ahead and rebuild these, clean these up, um, put the 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 dust boots on them, the rubber dust boots back onto them. Um, like the the ones that we have from the the NT on here have the dust boots. Um, the the front shocks we left as is. Um, so they you know they had adequate springs. I think these are the green. Yep, they're the green springs already. Um, so a little bit stiffer. Uh, so these still have the motion caps on them. The plastic uh, composite shock caps. Um, we were going to put the, the, the rubber boots on these, but that would require basically rebuilding them in these ways, right? Removing the shocks, uh, taking off the shock ends. And at that point you might as well just, uh, clear out the fluid and put in new silicon fluid into those shocks. So, um, we're just going to do, uh, you know, some mild bashing, some, some, uh, shakedown runs here. Um, so we didn't have to have everything, you know, perfect. Right, this is kind of a work in progress, and basically just uh, you know what we had time for, we did because we're going bashing tomorrow. So um, other things on the table. So this is uh, this is still using the Z Run, the Hobby Wing Z Run, thirty six fifty six brushless motor that's censored. You'll see the sensor wire over here. Uh, censored means that the the ESC is actually aware of where. Um, the, the position of the rotor is uh, in the motor, right? Uh, these are four pole motors, meaning, you know, there's there's four poles, right? Like north, south, east, west. Um, so the censored, this is another censored motor. Um, uh, because of the uh, the position sensor, the, the motor um, can be controlled more accurately by the, the ESC or the electronic speed controller because it is aware of where um, where the, uh, the rotor or the, I forgot, stator, I, I should get better versed in electric motor terminology, but, um, essentially, um, yeah, they, they they run smoother. They don't have a cogging issue that sensorless motors have, meaning, you know, when you're running at low speeds, you'll actually see that, that shaft kind of, you know, searching for it, uh, for the position there between the poles. Um, so, uh, you know, usually with bashers, do, uh, you know, with, with trucks that you go bashing in versus racing, um, usually people will go sensorless just because it's, uh, you know, it's a simpler setup, less things to, to go wrong and break, uh, no sensor wire to, to rip off that sort of thing. So, um, we're going to run the sensorless truck because it's what we had in the truck. Um, the, this is a 15 tooth pinion that we're running. 
And that is pretty much the smallest pinion that will work on this. I mean, uh, actually, the smallest pinion that we had on hand. Um, the next smaller Mod 1 um, pinion that we had was a 12 tooth here. So um, if needed, we could we could drop a tooth down to a, a, a 14 or a, a 13 tooth pinion in this. Um, we're going to measure the temps when we go running in this tomorrow to see uh, where they're at, um, if it's if it's comfortable. Uh, likely the likelihood is it's going to be a little bit high um just because that was the uh this is the motor system that came when it was running the smaller short course tires so we're kind of prepared for that but we're going to do some trial and error usually that's what folks do you you run the motor um if it's running too hot you drop a tooth or um two teeth you know going from a 15 to a a 14 or a 13 tooth pinion um just to just to lower those motor temps um, we have the uh, a sensorless system as well here, so we could switch over to that. But being that the um, the can on this motor is the same size, it's also a Hobbywing 3656. Um, what we we would more likely do is drop in uh, a bigger motor, right? Like this. Um, this is a 4274. So 42 being the diameter of the motor can, 74 being the length, and you could see the size difference between the 3656 and the 4274. It'll still fit in the, the SET, so, uh, and this is also a censored motor, so this is what we'll probably drop in next if the, the temps are too high, um, which more likelihood they, they will be. Um, so we'll probably drop a pinion tooth first or two um, to the limit of where this motor mount will go, and then uh, we'll drop in a bigger motor. So. Let us know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, and we will catch you next time. Thanks again for watching.